Hi everyone, it's Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Hardcore 1.17 Let's Play series. So you can see that we are in the village that is a little bit east of our uh, town, and uh, I put a couple beds over here, a couple more working blocks, because mainly lecterns actually, because we want to get mending. So actually, I do have a librarian here that has mending, and we can actually get two mending books, which is exactly what we need. I do want to, unfortunately, some of these... Some of these villagers do not want jobs, which is like, come on, dude, why are you doing that? And they won't take an, the other lectern job or the librarian job. I'd really like to get feather falling on my boots before I go to the nether today, and that's what we're doing. We're going to the nether. Hopefully we do not die. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. Feel free to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this episode. I really do appreciate it. And also, if you um, want to join the Discord, definitely feel free to do that. It's in the link in the description down below, as well as the Patreon and the Etsy link for the merch. Also, feel like I should just tell you right now, if you want to catch me live on Twitch, definitely feel free to catch me live on Twitch. That's where we actually gather a lot of the resources here. Uh, a lot of the basically side work, a lot of the busy work is done live on Twitch. Um, and that's where we get a lot of the stuff done, honestly. Like, we spent a lot of time live in this world. And so if you want to catch, um, be a little bit more immersed in this world, uh, catch some catch some live content, definitely uh, go to Twitch. Wax Fraud on Twitch is where you're going to find that. I'm basically just given this guy all my wheat so that he can basically just hand it out to the rest of the villagers i'd like them to start making some more villagers so that i can come back and hopefully somebody else will take this librarian job it'd be nice because this guy over here he doesn't even have a job like what are you doing man all right running back to start uh kind of just mending some stuff together also throwing the mending books on some things here i kind of want to get a like a new sword obviously like look at this sword i'm breaking too that's we got to get a better sword at least sharpens for something else we got to get a bow we got to put that stuff together um so yeah trying to get a, a sword and a bow and then also maybe a new shield uh, I definitely need feather falling. We gotta get some stuff if we're going to the nether, man. We got there's a lot of stuff that we needed to do. So we're back down at the spider farm real quick, and uh, I mean we got a lot of XP to get. I actually I actually just spent oh my god, jeez, you just got me. It's crazy how a lot of these spiders have potions, like they spawn like potioned up, dude. But yeah, there's a lot of spiders here. It's kind of cool. We get a lot of string and spider ice. We can do a lot of brewing once we get the blaze rods, obviously. We get a lot of string that we can trade with the fishermen. We get a lot of emeralds. But uh, as you can see, we actually do have some enchanted books. I left them. I left a lot of them back in the enchantment room. But uh, we do have a sharpness four book, which I actually do like a lot, because then we can combine it with another sharpness four book if we get it to make a sharpness five. If we end up not getting sharpness five for the sword, and I did make a couple bows while I was at it, but. I'm actually just going to spend quite a few, t like, I'm going to spend quite a while down here. Um, just leveling up and basically just getting all of the enchanted books that I need to get this up. I need to get flame on the bow. I need to get power three. Probably going to do infinity instead of mending. I'm not sure exactly. I, I, I usually get one of each, uh, but usually like carry one at, one at a time. And then obviously with the sword, you need like sharpness five. You need looting three. And then obviously like fire aspect is so nice. I, I love having fire aspect on it. So we are down in the enchanting room right now, and actually I only have one thing left. We spent about, uh, I mean, it's been about maybe two hours total. We got a uh, swiper right here, the sword, unbreaking three, fire aspect two, sweeping edge three, and looting three. Right now the best I could do with the book is sharpness four. We'll have to get another sharpness four book, put it in here, and another mending book, and that'll be a nice little sword there. The only thing we're missing is maybe knockback, but sometimes knockback is not the best. Um, because especially if you're fighting like a skeleton, we should, you should be able to one-hit KO a skeleton with the sword. Um, especially if you have sharpness 5, but, I mean, it's been, and blazes, actually, because they get, uh, they just fly away from you with knockbacks. So maybe I won't put that on here. We got a nice bow with unbreaking 3, power 5, infinity, flame, and then punch 1. I still need a punch 1 book to put with that, or a punch 2 book to put on that, uh, to make it a punch 2. I got this yellow, uh, fire protection pants, the yellow, I mean, uh, gold is what I meant. We basically powered up all of our, um, gear. We have, uh, the helmet, protection 4, I'm breaking 3, respiration, aqua affinity, I'm breaking 3, blast protection. We got mending on all of them, too. We got everything here, dude. We got the swimmies, uh, put death strider on those, so we can swim super fast now. But yeah, there's actually, um, something that we did while I was on stream. We actually did a stream this morning, so I actually recorded the first part of this last night, and then I streamed a little bit this morning, and we made this. It's just a little bit of a cozier entrance into the back of this area, and uh, I figured, you know what, we could uh, just spice it up. I put a bunch of barrels, I put a bed back here in case we ever get back from the nether, which this is going to be the nether entrance. Uh, we could be, if we ever pop out and we're right here and we're like, whoa, this is weird. Uh, it's nighttime, we need to sleep. Um, also, you can see all the azalea moss that we put in on stream. Got some drip leaves here, the small drip leaves, that is. I do want to put some flowers in here. It feels kind of weird not having any flowers in, so I'm actually going to just put one like that. 
That looks kind of nice. And then we'll get an oxidaisy. I do have... Oh, yeah. I forgot I put some flower pots in. I definitely can't be forgetting that. Let's put an allium over there. And then I'm pretty sure we have another flower pot right there. Perfect. We got an allium. And now that just kind of spiced it up a lot more, even with just those four flowers. All right. So now that I'm basically all ready to go, I got my gear ready to go. I got the bow. I got a nice sword. Finally, I got the pants to put on for the nether. I can actually just probably grab a flint and steel wherever those are. Do I have one right here? I'm not sure. I know I have a flint and heel, flint, well, flint and heel, flint and steel here somewhere. I can't really find it, so we're just gonna make it. Just one iron and a piece of flint, so it's not that bad. And actually, pretty, I should probably just clear the inventory. I don't need all of this junk here. All right, so this is this feels a lot better here. So basically, just got a bunch of stone bricks because when we get in there, we're gonna want to just kind of fortify it real quick. I do not want to perish. This is hardcore. I don't want to lose this world. Uh, we've got 16 eggs. I don't know. I like throwing eggs out in the nether because it's fun having chickens out there. It makes it a little more homey, you know? Um, got the flint and steel. We've got some golden apples. I'm going to eat one right before we go in. We re-upped on steak, and now I think we're good to go. we got the arrows for the infinity bow, and I believe that's it. Oh, wait. Actually, never mind. Before I forget, I actually just remembered this right now. I want to grab a hoe in case we are in, a, uh, in an area where we can get, like, nether wart and all that stuff. Um... Like, and then the new biomes from 116, I would like to be able to grab that with the hoe pretty easily, like shroom lights and all that, too. Um, so, well, here, here goes nothing. Oh, my God, dude, this is, this is, oh, man, this is terrible. This is, I'm giving flashbacks, man. In the last hardcore series, my game just, like, literally got corrupted as soon as I went to the nether. So this is going to be, uh, oh, God, here goes nothing, dude. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay. And we're in the nether. And I am in a box. I'm in a box. Not gonna lie, dude. It couldn't have gotten any better than that, dude. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's build a tunnel. Dude, tunneling. The tunnel is the best way it could have gone. Honestly, like, possible. Like, ugh. That makes me pretty happy. Let's go this way. Yes, dude. Okay. All right, well, let's just tunnel out this way and see where it takes us. Um, that, now we have a pretty fortified area. Oh, and we can dig for netherite. Um, I mean, ancient debris, and we can get quartz and a bunch of gold here easily. Ah, oh, dude, it honestly couldn't have been any better than this, because now we're not exposed. We can just build a tunnel out to wherever we need to go. Okay, well, actually, that's not good. Let's let, let's not let any of that through. Yeah, I guess except for the lava. The lava is probably not the best thing for uh, us right now. We def definitely don't want to be anywhere near that. Although I do have fire protection, so it's probably fine, but uh, let's not take any chances here. This tunnel's getting pretty long, man, but, um, I mean, we have arrived at our first court, so, heck yeah, let's get a bunch of this. We got Fortune 3, so, uh, we should be able to get a bunch of quartz while we're here, and who knows, maybe we'll make a quartz build. I do want to make, like, an, oh my god, we can make a sugarcane farm now, we don't have to run out of paper. On stream, you may have seen the struggle, we were running out of paper so much, like, oh, we were running out of so much paper, because I ran out of, I don't know what happened, I just, like, decimated my sugarcane for bone meal one time, I think, I just was not thinking. And, uh, yeah, so I literally had to go on a boat ride search for sugarcane. It's all A-OK -okay now, though, dude. We got quartz. We can make so many farms. We can make pistons now, dude. We can make automatic doors. We can make so many automatic stuff with pistons. Heck yeah, dude. I'm happy. This is... Oh, this is a good time right here. Let's torch this area up. We don't need anything spawning in here, even though I'm pretty... I don't think anything bad would spawn. Okie dokie. We have... We have fine. We have hit the. Uh, we've hit the end. We've hit the uh, area that we need to be at. I think there's some lava. I hear lava basically everywhere. Is there some? Nope, that's fire. Never mind. Well, I guess uh, let's run out. Is there anything around us? Oh, we are actually in a good spot. We're in like a little cove here. Pretty safe. Honestly, we're pretty safe right here. This is looking kind of weird. We have our gold pants on. We don't have to worry about any of the. Uh, oh, I see one up there. Any of the crossbow guys. I think we're good, dude. We got quartz all around us. We got gold all around us. We got some... We're gonna, we can get a lot of materials here. I think I'm going to do an auto sugarcane farm today. And I think I'm actually going to make it out of quartz. And maybe deep slate. A deep slate quartz design might work. I don't know what. We'll see how it works. I'm thinking... It's definitely going to have quartz. But maybe deep slate also. Probably just going to hop up this hill real quick. Just to see where we're at. See if we're like near any nether fortresses or anything like that. You never know what we could be near. I'm going to keep my bow out just in case, dude. This bow is awesome. It is so amazing. We're not really near anything, dude. I'm not seeing anything. We could, like, tower up a little bit. Let's just, yeah, let's go ahead and tower up. And we got Feather Falling 4 now, dude, on our boots. We don't have to, oh my god, we just ran up into some glowstone. Forgot we can get glowstone here now, too. We can light up the village like never before. 
Dude, this is... We're gonna probably have to do some searching for another fortress. I don't know if we'll find one this episode, but... We definitely, uh... We definitely have new building materials now. I, uh... Oh, no, should I have... Oh, yeah, by the way, on stream, we named the, uh, The pickaxe Michael. I totally forgot about that. Just Michael the pickaxe. I would grab some glowstone, but I do not have a silk touch pickaxe with me, so probably should have thought about that. That is, uh, my bad. That is 100% my bad. But there's, dude, there's so much quartz around here to be able to build with. This is awesome. Just gonna lay some torches down. I thought I saw some soul sand in the distance. What we could do is use... Oh, whoa, we have a... That's awesome. We have a portal here. An abandoned portal. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. We do need some of this. We need some soul soil. I'll take some of that. We need some soul sand. Because some of the... Dude, soul sand honestly like looks pretty good to build with. But I'm gonna take a couple of these uh it, it, yeah this will actually be nice because then we can grow nether wart when we get back home as well because that'll be nice for making potions um we did just do that brewing tower by the way but it'd be nice to find um another fortress so i can get some blaze rods uh, i do see some skeletons out here i wonder if i can actually hit him from here it'd be kind of nice i think i can get that challenge from hitting somebody from 50 blocks away or something like that i don't know if this is 50 blocks away but we're definitely gonna oh i missed oh first try i would have missed oh wow he's coming at me huh that's from pretty far though yeah, I don't think that I don't think that was a challenge. Let's go check out what's up in this abandoned portal here. Ooh, we got some blackstone that we could definitely use to build with. Is there a chest anywhere? Uh, of course there is. Fire charge. Ooh, I'll take the nuggies. Here we go. Ooh, a flint and steel that we can just save there. Golden hoe. It's just a bunch of stuff that we can honestly just leave there for now. And uh, there's actually we're going up. Let's go a little bit higher. Maybe we can see another fortress from around here. Got to make sure that we know exactly where we came from though. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Chicken's in the nether, man. I told you. It's hilarious. Look at him. He's hiding. He has no idea what to do. And there's just fire everywhere. It's it's fun, dude. It's fun having chickens around here. Damn, this chicken's being real risky now. I actually did forget that I'm gonna, about this gold block. So I'm going to take that gold block. Ooh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did it? Oh, it's up here. Cool. I was going to say, dude. I really would uh, I'd like that. Let's take the gold block. Oh, wait a second. Oh, inventory's full. Wait, can we just do this? Yes, we can. Block of quartz. That is how you get it done let's just com combine all of these and wow that actually worked out very well let's just get that done and then where's that gold block right there perfect and you know what maybe we should take some of this obsidian too um actually you know what let's just leave this here for now we can take obsidian from the overworld we don't really need all the obsidian right now i'm just gonna continue taking some quartz and then we're gonna take it back i uh oh magma block perfect now we can make the upsy downs for the uh spider spawner as well all right, so we've encountered our first ghast. He just shot out of nowhere. I have no idea where it came. Oh, never mind. I see you, buddy. I'm gonna have to hurt you. You're trying to hurt me. I'm gonna have to hurt you. What's up, my dude? Where are you flying? I, I know you're gonna shoot something at me. Oh, I guess I could just shoot you. I forgot I have a bow. Oh my god. I totally forgot about that. Ooh, I wonder if he has any ghast tears. I could I definitely use one of those. And there is... There is a ghast tier. I could use those for... What do we need those for? I forget exactly what they're used for, honestly. We gotta use... Magma cubes. I haven't killed a magma cube yet also. Dude, there's so much stuff in the nether that you gotta just... You know what's awesome, though, about the nether? The thing that I like about the nether is actually comforting to me because there is no creepers in the nether. That would suck if there was, like, nether creepers, dude. Just, like, big, red, exploding creepers. Oh, my God. That'd be the worst. Oh, my God. Magma cubes, man. They are just... Oh, my God. I was doing some off-camera gold nugget mining, and this man right behind me just smacks me with his sword, so... And also, dude, I actually just remember, right, I gotta eat a golden apple, I guess, right now. I mean, it might be a waste, but might as well eat one. This dude, oh, I guess he's forgetting now. That, dude, this guy just smacked me. He smacked me. I was like, dude, it's not worth it. You should see, there's so many pigs. There was like 30 of them out there, so I literally just sprinted. Sprinted. I was not recording. Should have been, but, uh, was not recording. I think I have a bunch of, I think I have a bunch of quartz, honestly, now. I have a, I have a lot of quartz with me. I think I should be, that should be enough for now. Let's go see if we can make some pistons and get an auto sugar cane farm going. Dude, and we are back. What a great way to enter. Heck yeah, dude, this is awesome. And we have a bed right here. Everything looks so good. Everything looks so great. I'm actually just going to throw the netherrack in the furnace because it'd be nice to get some nether, like nether bricks going. Uh, that'd be some, that'd be kind of get some cool builds going at least. Um, we also need to get some chests up here for anything quartz i think honestly i'm just gonna do one of these little guys right there and then just but wait can i not open this up wait is this not openable these chests are not functionable i put them in a spot where they cannot function i guess i guess i may have to just end up putting 
barrels right there. That is just unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Let's, so let's uh, let's do this. Let's go right here. And uh, let's just try. Is there any open barrels down here? There is not. Let's just start right here. We got quartz. Let's just go bam, boom, wait, boom, quartz, boom. And then we got quartz. We'll just fill into here. I don't know. I shouldn't be filling it in there yet, but I'm just putting it in there just for, just for right now. And then honestly, that might be for magma blocks, but I think I'm just going to put a thing of soul sand here and uh, just kind of throw you up and then boom and then bam bam put you in there and i'm gonna keep one of each of these because i actually do need to make that keep these for the ups and downs for this spider farm that goes all the way down to the almost the bedrock and then oh yeah i have an item frame Ooh, let's let's go to sleep here just for a second it's nighttime it do be nighttime dude the sunrise over here now like remember for episode one when there was just like almost nothing but this house and now there's just all this stuff around us it looks so ah i love it dude it's so just i love it dude minecraft is beautiful I actually took two picture frames, item frames, I mean, not picture frames, item frames, and I'm actually going to put them back here because I want to actually just put one right there, one right there. I would like to actually put the golden pants and the flint and steel. Just going to put one right there. I'm going to put one right there, and that'll just let me know, like, anytime I'm not having, wearing those and I see them right there, I got to put them on. They definitely got to be on if I'm going to the nether because I do not need to go down to any piglins. I think I'm going to choose this spot right here, like in between the barn, the axolotl pen, and the new brewing tower. I think I'm going to do right here for the uh, the new sh auto sugarcane farm. So I think I'm just going to end up clearing all of this out here, making some space. And I think I'm just going to do like maybe a five or six um, on each side. Just going to have two sides because I don't need like too much sugarcane. I'm not going like, like super, super like, I don't, I don't need that much. But I am going to need enough to where I can uh, just have enough on the offhand for like making any rockets or anything like that um of course making all the books that i ever need but yeah just enough enough to be able to do all of that type of stuff i think if we just kind of have maybe just the wall right here i don't know if i want maybe i'll just end up picking it up from over here instead of over here because i kind of just planted that birch tree and that birch tree looks so damn nice look at that looks like a nice birch tree but i think yeah none nonetheless let's just try i think just maybe, maybe let's just try one two three four five and then i think that's six seven eight is where that would end up right there let's try this what if we go one two three four five six seven eight right there is where they would end up well let's just try this out where's the water bucket right do be there mm -hmm. and then that's just gonna end up right there of course if we come over here to the axolotl pen what's up my dude if we grab that we can go to the other side and we can get this done right here. With all those going right there, we can honestly, oh, I should have brought a hopper out here. We need the hopper to go right there and the hopper will go down into here, out to here, and then we'll be able to actually go down and get all of that stuff. But for the meantime, I think what we need to do is let's go through here and I believe, well, oh, wait a second. Oh, that's not gonna work. Ooh, I am learning, I am learning. So we actually need to bucket this up right here. We need to go over one more three four five six because this is this is just not correct so i mean it will go like this but this right here will end up being like that i believe because we're gonna want the sugar cane to go right there we got one sugar cane, sugar cane right here and then we have just a row of basically just dirt or unless we just want to block a quartz there probably just put cobblestone there for now one two three four and then back here again one two three four Unless we don't want that to happen, we could just do this back to back, nothing running through. Let's try that. Got pistons to put on this side. And then obviously we got, nope, it's not going to work. I totally forgot. So yep, we're going to have to move at least one more in. So that is basically it. It's super small, super compact, but the design is going to be nice. It's just going to be a nice little square, like gazebo type looking maybe build. I'm not type, not really sure, but... We can uh, look at in the middle, just the redstone. Got the pistons down here and the observers. Actually, I technically haven't tested it yet. Let's uh, make sure it works at least. And okay, perfect, it works. Uh, we do not have any hoppers in here yet. Obviously, it's just gonna go down here. Um, it only goes right here. So we're gonna have a hopper going in. We're gonna have a hopper in the middle, hopper going into this hopper, hopper going into this hopper, and then a chest that we can pick everything up from. Uh, maybe just a double chest, maybe a couple of double chests so that it doesn't end up getting like super clogged up uh, we want to be able to have a lot of paper at any time but now we can start building i do want so we have blocks of quartz here and this block of quartz by itself is it does look nice 
it does look nice, but it could be nicer. It could be nicer. There's a couple, there's a bunch of stuff in the stone cutter that you can use. Maybe I'll use the pillars, maybe not. I'll, I'll take a look. I want to, uh, I don't know exactly how this build is going to look. I do want it to be um, basically visible on all ends though, like from this side here, I want you to be able to see the glass. Like, I want you through the glass, I mean. I want you to be able to see the sugar cane being chopped down by these pistons. So, we got the outside of it all done here. This is kind of just like, it's kind of looks a little bit like Greek, you know. Just anything like with this uh, quartz definitely looks Greek. Because you can start, I don't know, it just starts to look like Greek, like Roman type architecture but yeah i mean we've been just for a couple minutes now i mean sugar can we already have some rolling in it looks like it sounds like at least it's working as soon as anything hits the pistons all the sugar cane gets going in there and that's five more than we had a couple minutes ago so that's that's perfect for me uh, but yeah i think i'm gonna actually go up now and start putting some slabs in for the deep slate tiles and deep slate bricks because i think i think this can look good with with a couple of these here so we got to put the lanterns up here and then a lantern right here and actually oh my god I completely just missed how did I miss this entire side of this glass wall I don't know I just don't know but we got a chain that we're gonna put right there maybe probably you know what let's just go down one more the chain we'll go right there and then we'll go chain it up right th oh yeah that's what we like to see dude that's what we like to see also I'm gonna take a step back and let you guys see it's the deep slate bricks and tile slabs up in there and yeah I mean I like this this is just a nice little cozy design for a uh, auto sugarcane farm if you guys ever want to make one uh, kind of like this it's it's not too hard it's actually super super easy this honestly took me about 10 minutes to make including the redstone stuff so oh wait totally forgot about the lanterns on this side we got to go bam and i'll uh, probably get two cha chains right here we'll go right there and then we'll get you right there and then we'll get another lantern right here and then honestly yeah i do have some composters i want to put some right there probably put some oak leaves right here oh no 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 no! that's not what we want we would like to take you out and put some oak leaves right here and right there perfection dude that's what we like to see probably do that on all four sides too one last thing i did want to do is oh i should probably close that door is uh actually you know i, I do want to put some azalea trees in here i have zero azalea trees in my world so far and i think it's about time we start putting some in maybe in front of this barn um, it's probably a good idea just to kind of get it out of the way. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just try, like, right here. Uh, let's just see what happens. I do have some bone meal, but... Oh, God, that... Oh, it's... Oh, it's an azalea tree. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Dude, azalea trees are sick. They just look... They look so weird. They look so weird. Extremely weird. But that that is the way it is going to be. Um, actually, I might end up just shearing off these and then making another one. Because I do like these... Uh, these bushes the only thing is if you notice with optifying like how all of the other bushes like um are just and with if with, with these shaders as well that's that the shaders have not caught up to the azalea bush yet because these should be waving around in the wind but they are not all right so i'm looking down at the spider spawner right here and i, I know I have, a, I have a bunch of ladders that we could get rid of i mean let's just hop down here real quick uh, i did a tad bit of decorating on a stream and i mean it's we're not anywhere near where we want to be yet i want this to seem like we're not underground and so just kind of started with a bunch of barrels and we'll get to it it's gonna it's gonna start looking good but what i want to do is obviously i have some soul sand and a magma block so we're gonna bring both of these down here because i would like to uh i don't know let's just i guess let's just put the soul sand there and let's put the magma block there and uh, i guess from here on out we just need to start you know just i guess kind of going up and down with all of these let's actually take that water right there and yeah i guess we just need to build up so I finally actually build up all the way here, and now we only have two little holes. Goes all the way down to the soul sand, and all the way down to the magma block. We've got a water bucket I'll put right here, and a water bucket I'll put right here. And we don't have to worry. I mean, obviously these are not all sources yet, but that's why I have all of this kelp here. So I'm actually just gonna hop down real quick, and uh, let's just use. Uh, let's just go down this way real quick. Let's just go down. Use all of the uh, the might that we can, and uh, let's just hop in, and bam. That's all we needed. Perfect. So that is that. Let's just use some of this right here, and everything's go Everything's all good. Whoa, was that a jockey in there? What's up, jockey? Oh, he's dying. That's unfortunate. Yep, he gone. Goodbye. And, and anytime now. Anytime now. Oh God. Yep. There we go. Goodbye. Thank you for the bones. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this is. Oh my God. He tried shooting at me. How? How dare he? But yeah, basically, this is just not gonna be anything until we can. Uh, 
you know, just start placing the kelp. So we kelped up both of these. We use this one to get all the way back up. This should just kind of suck us back down. And there we go. Perfect. It's sucking us all the way down. Should only take us about like maybe four or five seconds. And that's yeah, about the time it took. And then this, we just basically break the kelp and it should shoot us right back up. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That is what I'm talking about. We should be able to get all the kelp back and we are done. That is it. We still have to put this aquarium right here and still decorate this place and the spider farm. Don't get me wrong. We have a lot of stuff to decorate still. But, dude, I am so glad that we finally have a way to get in and out of there um, a little bit more efficiently. But, yeah, let's actually walk back over to the final build. I am really excited about this, guys. Um, I think that might be it for this episode. Like, this is going to be the backside. I actually added a couple more stairs to make it seem a little bit more sturdy on the ends. And if we go this way, I took out the azalea bush because I just wanted to... Uh, uh, not the azalea bush, but the azalea, not the azalea, wow, the moss blocks for a second, just because I wanted to make a little path here, um, just so that people, or myself, rather, just uh, can walk around and um, look at this beautiful build and admire it, you know? But yeah, that actually is going to be it for this episode. Uh, before I say goodbye, let's see how much we've got so far. 27, that's not that bad. We've only been doing this about 15 minutes or so, and so, I mean, at least we have some sugar cane off to the side in case we ever need any. Uh, I mean, it's not not the most efficient that you've ever seen, but it's still efficient. Guys, that is actually going to be it for today's episode. Thank you for watching episode 9 of the Hardcore Let's Play. Episode 10, dude, is next. I can't believe we're on episode 10. I think we're going to be doing a big, big, big iron farm next episode. I don't know where it's going to go, but be on the lookout for some live streams as well. Wax Fraud on Twitch. Check out the Discord if you haven't joined the Discord yet. And then Etsy is for the merches and the Patreon if you want to be a Patreon support on there as well. You can see everyone who is a supporter on Patreon. Uh, you'll see their names at the end of every video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. Um, and as always, just take care until next time. Love you guys. Bye.